What is up guys? Dustin Huey here and uh, we are back with the NHL 13 GM mode number two with the Edmonton Oilers. We are into our 10th and final year and we're uh, at the, well we're going into the draft. We got eliminated in the conference finals to the San Jose Sharks. We had an all-star team. Um, basically I'm going to probably trade some guys and reorganize. That was just a fun year. I was just wanting to see how we would do. Um, oh, where am I? Right there. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, definitely, we're going to have cap problems. We have two young guys who are retiring who have basically exploded. So, like, like they've gone from, like, 80s up to, like, high 80s. So, And their contracts are up. So they're probably going to be asking for quite a bit of money. Uh, so I think the plan will be to kind of see what we're working with going into the draft um, and make some trades. Uh, there were a couple young scout, like players that I could scout for, but I don't know. Like I I think we still have a first round pick. I'm not 100% sure. Um yeah, I think I kept the Colorado first pick, I believe, but uh yeah, I'm not again, I'm not 100% sure, but it should be up there, but we can always trade it, right? So we might have to do some trades and see what happens. So here's our uh, retired players, Brent Burns, to Toby Enstrom, um, Palmanville, Setaguchi. Do we have any guys? Uh, Chicago Seabrook, uh, Tootin, George, Smead, Booth. Uh, so yeah, so we don't have anybody retiring again. Nick Schultz, Rick Richards, uh, Suter, Clutterbuck, Rutu, Placanich, Talbot, uh, Zajac, Nash, Betza, Bacchus, Fraser, O'Brien, Kessler. I think it's Ryan. Yeah, it's Ryan Kessler. Um, Winnick, who he actually traded to Pittsburgh there. <laughs> Bergenheim, Brower, Lupul, McClement. Uh, is that Rene, Rene Bork retired? What about goalies here? Uh, Jimmy Howard, Pecorine, Brian Elliott, Smith, and Yemi. And Jonas Hiller. Okay. So we didn't, again, lose anybody. Our team has always been, like, the, our max age is, like, 33. Like, that's how old, that's basically our oldest player. Um, as well, I'm going to throw it in there. There is a video about uh, voting for the next GM mode. That will be GM mode number three. So if you want to go watch it there or head to our Facebook page. And there is three votes. One is for the team. It's the top, or the, it was the bottom. I picked the bottom two teams from the the divisions in the East. And um, yeah, so I picked the bottom two divisions, the uh, bottom two teams from the divisions in the East. And uh, so you can vote on that. And then as well, uh, I put if you guys wanted firing on or off, and how many years. I put five, seven, or ten. So I think I think seven is a good median. Five. Five just seems a bit too short, and ten obviously ten is way too long. I feel like seven would be a good, a good kind of middle ground though. So, um, trading block. Okay, let's. Oh yeah. So let's uh, let's kind of take a look at our players. See what happened here. Um. Oh wow, Fitzgerald's an eighty-four now. Okay, so Ackerman is an eighty-five. I feel like he was an eighty-four last year. Um, Bennington's a 78, that's fine. Crosby, oh my god, Crosby went up to a 96. Doig, uh, still an 87. Um, who else do we have here? Lundmark's still an 87. Matta's still 83. Malkin went up to a 91. Or was he 91 before? He was either, I think he might have been 90. Maple Toft went up to a 70, that's good. Markov. Uh, Morrissey's still 83. Murray is an 89. Nuge is... I think Nuge was a 91. I think he went down to 90. That's okay. Ovechkin still 95. Palaces went back up to an 87. Pearson is 80. Pollock, 87. Um, John Quick still an 81. Uh, Yakupov still... I think he went back up to an 87. I think he was 86 last year. Yeah, oh, Kirk Yano went up to an 89. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of guys that contracts are kind of expiring. Um, honestly, I don't really want to get rid of Fitzgerald, but if we have to. Morrissey's expansive to, like, defenseman. Um, we need to cut some cap, obviously, because we're going we're gonna to have troubles. We're going to have to trade someone. 
Um, now, who that someone is, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe Malkin. He didn't have the greatest year for us. He was kind of the odd man out. Uh, yeah, like he had 76 points. I mean, obviously that's still good, but, you know, eh. Um, and how much is this contract? Yeah, he's, he's expansive. So if I cut him, that gives me a lot of space for, like, activities. Uh, Crosby, I wish you could, like, see their, uh, value without actually... Uh, f honestly, the last year, we might as well keep two good goalies. I mean, Sp Fitzgerald's an 84, but regardless, I mean, this is our last year, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to keep him. Um... Crosby was only an 8 million player. Uh, who else did we have here? I know Ovechkin had another great year. I don't know. I don't really feel like getting rid of him. Like, he had, like, look at every year we've had him, he's been in the 90s. So I'm not, I'm not trading. I mean, 96, 95, 94. So, I mean, he's gone down a point each year, but you know what? I'm not trading him because he's doing just, he's still doing so gross. Uh, Nuge. Uh, I think he was up there. Yeah, he was up there. He's He's been always in the high 80s, so not going to get rid of him. Um, if we get rid of Malkin, that leaves us with a spot for Doig, too, which is basically what we need. Um, I need to get Doig in, like, a for-sure lineup spot because Doig and Ackerman, I can't really afford to just waste them kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think... What is Doig worth? Yeah, he's only got one year left, too. No one's going to touch him. And then Ackerman's got... Oh, Ackerman's still got two years left. Uh, so I think the people we got to sign are Doig and I believe it's um, Lundmark? Yeah, Lundmark. And they're going to both be expensive. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to afford them, but we got to get rid of somebody, and I feel like Malkin... Malkin's kind of that person that we need to get rid of. Um, who was the other D-man that we had, though? I'm trying to think. Uh, the 89. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, oh, Yandel. Yeah, he's still got two years left, too. Okay. Uh, okay, so I think, I think of Genny Malkin's gonna be the guy. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be the guy. We'll put, uh, Bennington on the trade block. You know, some people might need a backup or starter or whatever. Uh, Morrissey... Morrissey's really expensive, so I'm just going to keep him up there. Um, I think that's about it. We really just need third-line players, um, like high 70 players, basically, to fill out our roster. And if I can get, like, a cheap 80-ish defenseman in return, then, you know, that's good. Okay, so we'll keep it like that. We'll go into the draft. All right. Let's get out the notepad, baby. Notepad, baby. Notepad. No pad. In a no pad, baby. Oh, I thought it was going into the draft. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, it was just kind of sitting there. I wasn't really paying attention. I thought we were actually, like, in the draft already, so... I thought it was, like, loading. Stupid me. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. No pad, baby! No pad! No, no, no pad! Okay, so... Uh, okay, so number one is Pittsburgh. Number two is Winnipeg. Number three is L.A. Number four is Toronto. Or wait, wait, Buffalo. Buffalo. Number five is Toronto. Okay. Continue. So I, we should be able to trade up and get players on. So I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Morrissey for a first. Ah, uh, that is a good trade, but I'd rather get a defenseman in return, who is not expensive. Ellis is expensive. Blum is expensive. Josie. Uh, I just want someone who is kind of the same over oh wow no. Same overall-ish. Okay, we'll go back to that one. We'll keep that in mind right now. 
Uh, Colorado. I think a lot of people are going to want Morrissey. Yeah. What do these guys got for D here? Johnson. He's expensive. Odell. They want to get rid of him, too. 68. No, that's not good. Not good enough. Aronin. Oh, he's 6 million, though. No dice. Um, Siemens is expensive. Hulk. 70 overall. Okay. I want someone who's around 80 to 83. Uh, okay, so Colorado first. We'll keep that in mind. Tampa Bay. They probably want Morrissey, too. Morrissey for Columbus first. Uh, Gormley. No, no. Max Domi. Eklund. Yeah, they don't really have any defense who are worth trying to get here. Um, I think we're going to have to pass on that. So we'll keep that in mind. Tampa Bay. A lot of people. So apparently, a lot of people want Morrissey. Ottawa first for Morrissey. No. How did Everly do last year? I forgot. To, I don't know if I looked or not. 56 points, yeah. He's around there. Normally. Um, Anze Kopitar. Ceci. Gagnon. Uh, Tubert. Yeah, they don't really... Not really anybody there either. San Jose. Let me guess they want Morrissey. A second and a second. That's just not a good trade. <laughs> not a good trade at all. Vlasic, Demir. Uh, what's this guy like? 84 top... Top four. That's not bad. I would take that. I would definitely take that guy for sure. Uh, uh, he's like 2 million less. So, I mean, that's good. Uh, but let's see what else they have here. Casina. And I mean, worst case, um, you know, we draft one of those demon, and they end up being like disgusting. You never know, right? So, okay. Um, two a demon. Points. Wow, fifty points in the NHL. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this guy for sure. And we're gonna take those off. I don't want those trades. Okay, let's see here. San Jose Morrissey for Ovitu. I don't think they're gonna take that actually. Let's see. No. Yeah. All right. Oh wow, that made my phone inactive. <laughs> Damn it. All right. <laughs> so Pittsburgh, Winnipeg, L.A., Buffalo, Toronto. Okay. Maybe I'll trade um, Malkin back to Pittsburgh. They don't really have the cap, but maybe they can. I don't want Subban. He's too expensive. Stamkos, no. Um, Neil. Yoon. Turris. What is Turris like? 82 top six. He would be a good fit, too. Lee Turris for... Uh, where is he? Morrissey. Turris for Morrissey. That cuts some cap. Nope. Damn. Okay. Uh, we want Pittsburgh's first. Maybe we could just trade him for a first and then try and sign someone. Because, yeah, that would... I, ooh, their first is... St. Louis's first. Oh, yeah, that's the first I traded them, eh? The value on that sucker's a little high. Um, trade them our first... And oh, where am I? I want Morrissey. Here we go. Morrissey. And what do we got? Do we have any first that I could trade? I don't think so. No. A first for a first and Morrissey. I wonder if they'd take that. Probably not. Oh, they did take that. Nice. Okay, so we got the first round pick. That's good. And I mean, that's hoping that the first round pick is like a stud and a half. Now, let's see if, ooh, I was gonna say, I wonder if Winnipeg has the cap space to get Malkin. 
Malkin to Winnipeg for. Uh, do they have a good D-man that I could try and get? That's Bogosian. He's too much. Um, how good are these D? I wish you could just straight up see their overall. It'd be so much nicer. 58. Uh, McDonough Wheeler. Eighty, but he's like expensive as hell. He's like f almost five million. That's gross. That is nasty. Seventy-nine. I don't think that'll work. No, they're way, way over. <laughs> I mean, it helps us, but it doesn't help them. Uh, we could go for L.A. Maybe L.A. That one defenseman was a top ten, but he was four and a half stars. So I don't know. LA can't afford him. What about Buffalo? Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo could. Buffalo Malkin for a first. Malkin for a first, and do they have any D? <laughs> Tyler Myers, no. Uh, that guy, Beaulieu. How good is he? 64. Uh, Ryzen. 63. How good is Jalavanti? 83. Okay, I'll take that guy. If they're willing to trade that. Ooh, that's a close one, though. I don't know if that'll go through. Um, we could not worry about the first round pick. Be nice to get it. Okay, whatever. Let's take off Jalavanti and we'll try and. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got rid of Malkin. That's good. Alright, so we got two of the top four picks. Let's do this. Now, I don't remember. Oh, they're both top fives now. Damn it! Before he wasn't, he was a top ten. Last time I looked. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, what do we have for goalies here? Goalies. Okay, no. Crap. Okay, so I really doubt that one of these guys won't go to one of them. Okay, let's just check them out, I guess. Uh, 80 defensive awareness, 86 strength. He's going to be in the 80s, I believe. Or close. What kind of D is he? Defensive D. Okay. No, oh, I think they're both defensive D. Yeah, I think the other guy is going to be better. I don't I can't really see the other guy's stats. I feel like he's going to be in the 80s though. Let's double check. His defensive awareness is 86. 81 shot blocking, stick checking 76. Aggressiveness 85, body checking 87. He's a defensive defenseman though, so that'll like help towards his overall in defensiveness like body checking and stuff. Uh, speed 80, that's not bad. Agility 82, acceleration 82. So he's going to be somewhat fast. Like he's pretty decent. Decently fast. Slap shot. Okay. I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with him. He looks pretty good. Yeah, let's take him. Clinton Ling and Willis. Yeah, that was the guy. That was the guy, I believe. Uh, Nathan Beagle, Cameron Montoya. So we've got a bunch of. I think I wanted to go with a D-man, but left wing, 70s, I can't even see what this guy is. Sometimes you can you can get better players than what they actually look like too, right? So, um, right wing, nope, uh, no dice, no. Uh, so these guys are all three and a half, so what was that, the goalie was three and a half, wasn't he? Oh, there's a couple three and a half goalies. Okay, let's take a look. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. 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 Oh, okay. Well, we didn't really scout goalies. Uh, okay, let's go back to skaters. This guy's 6'8". Oh, my God. It just sucks because I don't really have stats for him. Uh, left wing USA. What is this guy? Like, power forward? 
Um, strength is good. He's not gonna be. He's he's a player that won't be ready just yet. So maybe we can use him to trade. Yeah, I'm gonna take Cameron Montoya. Auto draft the rest. Auto draft the rest. Yep. Yeah, auto draft the rest. Okay. Arg. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Da -da 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 -da. Still auto drafting. Alright, there we go. Let's check her out here. Alright, so let's sim a day and see what we got. Alright, so we freed up 20 million, basically 21 million cap space. Uh, let's take a look at the draft picks that we got. Where are we? And we'll call it a call it a vid. Call it a vid, guys. Um, okay, so there's a couple guys we got signed. So Clinton Ling is a 78, four and a half star, and Cameron Montoya ended up being a four star. So that's pretty good. I feel like he could play D on our team, honestly, because um, we don't really have anybody else. I mean, we could try and sign someone, but. Uh, Bates or Ling, like, eh. Like, we have a pretty good solid decor right now. But, you know what, if we played him, you know, it's not, like, a bad thing. And he'll save his cap space, too, right? So, we'll see, we'll see how the cap turns out. Um, the rest of them, Lance Pearson. Ooh, nice, he went up to an 80. So, he should be ready to go. We got centers, look good. All right, so we'll go. Uh, we'll get a bit more depth. We traded Malkin and we traded uh, Morrissey just because of the cap space. We're going to need tons of cap space. Um, and again, remember to go and vote on the uh, GM mode commentary number three video. Well, not don't vote on the video, but vote on the Facebook that is in the video. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys.